In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a random location object like this chair going into all these different points on the map. Okay, so to do this, you're going to come up here and you're going to type in target point. And you're just going to drag a couple of these in. I'm just going to do four so that way we can actually like see what's going on. Once that's done, go up to your blueprints, open the level blueprint, drag this out of our way real quick, and make sure you have all your target points selected and bring them in. Once that's done, you're going to want to make an array, array, and make sure you have the same amount of pins that you want to reference as your target. We'll just drag and connect that there. And you're going to want to also create a begin play. And the reason for this is because this is how we're actually going to be firing the code. From here, you're going to drag out and you're going to spawn actor from class. And what we are going to do is we're going to actually create our object. We just come in here, we create a blueprint and an actor, and we're just going to call this object. Open this up. What we can do is we can put in whatever we want. I am just going to uh, add a static mesh, and I'm just going to make it a, a something that we can see, a chair. And so this chair is going to be spawning in all those different locations. Now if we compile and we come back, in our class here, we should be able to do object or whatever you have named as your uh, actual thing that you are teleporting. Give us some room. So off of the array, you're going to drag out and you're going to make copy. Or copy. Get a copy. There we go. Get a copy. Drag this out a little bit. And from this one, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, random integer in range so this is going to be the range at which we're going to be selecting our targets because there's four we are just going to go with a max of four so one two three four one two three four you want to have those the same because that's what's going to be going through those options then what we're going to do is we're just going to get a actor transformation and then this is going to go into our spawn transform like such i'll just compile and save so if we come in here and we click play, we can see that it's spawned here on the right point. Do it again, spawn it on the left. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. Spawn on right and etc. And it'll continue to go back and forth between those points or how many points you have. 